Hello. So last lecture we have studied the uh, closure property. This lecture we are going to study the associative property. So any set and operator that satisfies the associative property is called as a semigroup. So the power semigroup it is required to satisfy the associative property. So what is associative property that we will understand first? So set G with respect to operator star a uh, that is G comma star is called as associative if. For all elements in set A comma B comma C, if they are belonging to a set G, then A star B star C is equal to A star bracket B star C. So if it is satisfying the property, then it is called as the associative. Okay, let us take an uh, example of natural numbers again, natural numbers and operator as plus. So select any two numbers, uh, let us say A equals to 2, B equals to a 3 and perform the operation so left hand side LHS equals to uh, a star b so a plus b star uh, star is replaced by uh, plus so this is c now uh, put the values of a b c so this is 2 plus 3 and let us say take a value of c as say 7 so plus 7 so the value of this will be 5 plus 7 which is equal to uh, 12. Now uh, similarly solve it for the right hand side. So what is the right hand side? So this is the right hand side. A plus B plus C. Let us take a value of A as 2 plus B value of B is 3 plus value of C is 7. So it is equal to 2 plus this is brackets 10 equals to uh, 12. So we can see that left hand side is equal to right hand side that means natural numbers on addition operator is satisfying the associative property. Similarly if you take a, a multiplication operator then again it will satisfy the associative property and uh, division and subtraction they are exceptional they will not satisfy the associ associative property okay so you can consider or you can take any examples of the sets and check whether these are uh, satisfying the uh, associative property or not now uh, let us define the uh, semi group so what a semi group can be defined so semi group so you can define now semi group easily now semi group sets should satisfy the uh, closure property as well as the associative property. So we can say here uh, algebraic structure, algebraic structure because algebraic structure satisfies the closure property. So algebraic structure that satisfies that satisfies associative property property. is a semi group so algebraic structure that satisfies the associative property is called as a semi group so you can take any uh, sets like uh, you have taken your natural numbers and addition multiplication operator satisfies the closure property similarly you can take the sets as integers then real numbers rational numbers uh, or even numbers or numbers like those sets and uh, confirm that it is satisfying the associative property or not. So what is associative property? Associative property is satisfied when ABC belongs to a set, ABC belongs to a set and the operation bracket A star B outside bracket star C is equal to A star B star C. Now you can replace this star with any operator like multiplication operator, division operator, addition subtraction and confirm that the left hand side is equal to a right hand side or for the same number of elements okay so this is called as the associative property and the algebraic structure that satisfies the associative property is called as the semi group now next lecture we will study the mono id and uh, inverse thank you